videos. In the new version of the Z1 Analyzer, you can open MP4 and AVI videos and display them in the uh, telemetry windows just as you would any other trace or um, mapping or anything else in the analyzer. So we are going to discuss uh, how you do that, um, what you can do with the video, and how you can use that to uh, get a better idea of what's going on when you're driving your car on track. So stay tuned. So here we are in the Z1 analyzer. And we've got a, a lap open. Uh, it's from Lime Rock, and it's a 50-second lap. And this screen over here is where your video will display. Uh, so you get a quick overview of what all the icons do. And uh, to start with, I'm just going to open my video. So I click on the open icon. And this is from iRacing, but you can use a video recorded anywhere, um, as long as it's an MP4 or an AVI video. So I'm going to select my video, which is this one and click open. So now I get uh, the first frame of my video is displayed here. So this video window uh, can be displayed by going to display and then show video. And it just toggles it on or off. Uh, or you can use the control uh, shift V keyboard shortcut to do the same thing. The video window can be dragged around just like you would any other um, display unit in the analyzer. And you can also resize it by clicking and dragging on the bottom right to uh, get it however you want it to be. And this is uh, part of your layout. So if you save this uh, layout, the video window will display here just as uh, any other trace would display. So for now, I'm going to put it back up here. That's where I want it for this video. All right, so now uh, I have my video loaded. And uh, right now it's not synced with the telemetry lap, but that's fine for the moment. I can play the video uh, if I click the playback button. And uh, then every time you click the playback button, it slows down just as the telemetry would. So you can slow this down all the way to 1 16th speed. And then if you click it again at this point, uh, it returns to normal speed. Uh, you've got a pause button here, so you can pause the, the uh, playback, and then you can continue playing it. Uh, and then you also have a stop button, which stops the playback, and then you can continue playing it. Uh, so the difference between the pause and the stop button is that the pause button, when you resume playing, um, continues at whatever uh, speed you were going. So if you were at half speed, when you resume playing, you will continue at half speed. The stop button resets the play speed to one to one. So if you are at half speed, when you hit stop, you'll resume playing at a one to one play speed again. So as well as playing pausing and stop, uh, you have these three icons on the left and these three on the right. This allows you to step backward frame by frame in the video. And this one is forward frame by frame. Uh, this is a rewind, so you click this, it will rewind the video for you. And you click this one, and it fast forwards uh, the video for you. And then finally, if you want to go all the way to the beginning of the video, you can click this button, and all the way to the end of the video, you click that button. So you can uh, play this video buy it stuff like this and see where you are on track and learn a bit about how you're driving from that. But you really want to sync this video with the telemetry and play it back together. So we're going to talk about how you do that. So the first thing I want to do is move my car so I'm on the start finish line. So I'm going to step forward uh, frame by frame until I am on the start finish line. So now at Lime Rock, actually, the timing beacon is right here, just past the start finish line. So I'm going to leave the car there. So now my car is on the start finish line. I'm going to hit this flag icon. And this sets where the start finish line is in the video. So it tells me it's setting the start finish line at 3.2 seconds in the video. So I say OK. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to sync playback of the video and the uh, telemetry. So I'm going to hit this little uh, round arrow button right here. 
click that, and it turns green. So now, when I play back either the video or the telemetry, both will play at the same time. So if I click play up here, you see the telemetry is running and the video is running. And now if I, if I pause the telemetry, the video also pauses. And if I resume it, it can, continues to go. And if I slow down the video, uh, sorry, the telemetry, the video also slows down. And I can use the controls on either side, up here or down here. So if I click stop here, the telemetry also stops. And if I hit play, the telemetry re resumes. Um, so this allows you to see exactly where you are in the telemetry and the video at the same time. Uh, in addition to just playing, uh, pausing, and stopping, if I move uh, the telemetry, so say I click on, right, on the lap over here in this corner, the video will also go to that same exact location. Uh, or if I click somewhere in a trace, the video will go there as well. So now, uh, at the end of the lap, what will happen is the telemetry will end and the uh, video will also pause at that point. So if you open a, uh, a video file that has multiple laps in it, it's not just going to keep playing. It's going to stop at the end um, with the telemetry. And then you can go back to the beginning of the lap uh, and play it again if you like. So this video uh, was an uh, overview of how the telemetry works, uh, how you can integrate it into the analyzer, and what uh, the various controls do. Uh, hopefully this has been useful. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel below, and if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comments as well.